They bring down people like William McDowell and they, right? You might know who's William McDowell, but I'm sure you know his song. He sang songs like, I gave myself away so you. Talk about that powerful concert. The presence of God show up rich in the place. After the concert, the pastor that hosts the concert, his car was given trouble. And while she stopped to fix his car, a drunk driver running and killed him instantly. Oh my God. Now I share these stories not to woe you, you know, but to show you that bad things does happen to good people. Yeah. Still happen to good people. That's why the Bible says in Psalm chapter 34 verse 19, many are the afflictions of the righteous, yeah. but God will deliver us from them all. Because it's very possible for bad things to happen to good people. Yeah. Likewise, I've seen and continue to see good things happening to bad people. Yeah. Some of them criminals driving better cars and living better than you and me. My sister says she's working hard. So I see all of that to say. You never know when your number could call. Yesterday, I sang in a friend funeral. Right? And when I met him a week ago, he was reminding me about a funeral that he invited me to sing in. And I didn't know I'd get invited to sing in his funeral. Because you never know when your number could call. That's, That's something you have no control over. Yeah. You have no control over that. You could never prepare for that, but I know of a way you could prepare. Yeah. Having Jesus in the right place amen, amen. all the time. Yeah. That's the only thing you don't have to have in the right place at the right time. You have to have him in the right place all the time. All the time. So you're here tonight. We'll leave you to say this simple sinner's prayer because we don't want to pray through all of that and fight through to come to the front. But we ask that you say it from your heart. Whether you're buying gyro, you're lining up to go to the bar, you're lining up to go to the club, Royal Castle, wherever you be, you're now going in your car, this call is for you. Don't act like you don't need Jesus. Right? The Bible says, What does it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? And I see people working all their life to get things that they could lose in a split second. You see the earthquake the other day? I see people from us morning run and leave the expensive vehicles. Leave the whole store open. Because when disaster strikes, which you're unaware of, it does lose you. I beg you please, make sure you have Jesus in the right place. And then this last one, before I say the lady and his sinners prayer or whatever, it goes like this. I realize in life it's very easy for people to become ungrateful. Very easy. I heard a story, I was singing a song that I forgot about and God directed me to sing that song that particular night. On that night, when I started to sing this song, it had a particular person there. Apparently she was allergic to that kind of song. My skin started to scratch, started to cry. But I guess God had it just for her. The next day in the crusade, she brought her costume and, and I believe some money for the pastor. Because the song says, remember the time you were sick in your hospital bed making promises to heaven? But now you get back well and you're up on your leg. You forget all about God. Because you get your healing, everything working out well. But you're not fast laying head in the head. And that night she testified, she said she was that person that God touched in her hospital bed while she was sick. And she really made some promises, but then she got back better. And February, she decided to buy a carnival costume. Because it's very easy in life, when you get back your good self, you could forget your God self. But I pray in Jesus' name, don't ever be ungrateful. And maybe something that was said fell in your garden tonight. We don't apologize for it. But we're just leading this prayer. And even if you accept him, just feel free to say it. It might encourage somebody around you. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus come, into my life. come into my life. I admit Amen. and confess Amen. that I'm a sinner. I'm a sinner. But, I'm but I'm thankful to know, to know that, you that you are able to forgive me, to forgive me despite all my wrongs. Take, Take full control of my life. My life. Simplify, Simplify this Christian journey. This Forgive me of all my sins. Write my name in the Lamb's Book of Life. And help me to remember that on my journey, 
is you alone would walk with me. In Jesus' name. Amen. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks for everyone that said that prayer who meant it from their heart, who needed to say it. We ask that you comfort who needs to be comforted and discomfort who needs to be discomforted. We break every addiction, every bad habit. Yes, Those God. that just stop in to listen, we pray that it will be uncomfortable where they will end up or where they will want to go, Lord Jesus. You yes. guide and direct them. Yes, Have your way tonight. Yes, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you.